Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how to launch an EC2 instance with AWS Cloud. EC2 is Elastic Compute Cloud that is a service provided by the AWS for infrastructure as a service. So this is the example of infrastructure as a service where you can rent the servers from the AWS and you can scale up and scale down the servers as per your requirement. You can start and stop the servers as per your requirement and you need to pay only for the usage means if the server is not running then you need not to pay anything to the cloud. So let's start to create EC2 instance with AWS. So this is the console management console once you log in with your AWS account and from the services you can search or you can select the service from here of your choice and you can also see the most frequent used services directly listed on your console home. So here I am selecting EC2 that is Elastic Compute Cloud and here I have already configured two instances for my account but they are not running so instances running are zero but we have two instances I have stopped those instances and it is most preferable if you are not using any instance you must stop that instance but if you are creating your first instance you will get zero for every field over here next simply click on launch instance and here from the launch instance you need to provide the name like I am providing my web server and here I have selected Amazon Linux AWS as my server and next you can configure the configuration you can select the configuration for your servers like I have selected the uh, description as 64 bit and instance type is t2.micro you can select if your requirement is uh, high then you can select for the large in, large instance extra large instance and double extra large instance so as per your requirement you can select any instance or if you are initially selecting the uh, micro instance you can further scale up to large or extra large instance that's not uh, not too difficult you can simply switch over or scale up or scale down your services next if you want to connect via the command line interface through SSH client then you need to generate a key pair for the connection because once you are connecting via the client to your EC2 instance means to your virtual server this is like a virtual server or VM where you are deploying your uh, you are using this server to deploy your applications so here once you need to connect it via other SSH client you need the key pair so here for time being we can select we can select continue without any key pair or you can create a key pair that will be required once you try to connect it via SSH client so here you uh, depending on your requirement suppose you need to connect it via open SSH command line interface then you need to download dot pem file and suppose you want to uh, connect via the putty SSH client then you need to download .ppk file so as per your requirement you can go with any uh, type of format suppose I am selecting key 1 and I am down downloading .ppk file as I am having window so I am downloading .ppk file for the putty connection so create a key pair it will download the key pair for my uh, connection that I will be uh, making further next you can create the security group you can select the uh, other uh, you can also create virtual um, uh, public cloud for your instance or for this demo I am going to use the default VPC default subnet and default security groups so it will create a VPC for your instance create a subnet for your instance for communication etc so you just need to allow HTTP traffic from the internet now next thing is you can select the configuration like memory size and after the configuration and the selections are done you need to select the number of instances here with one configuration you can create 
टू और मोर इंस्टेंसेस इंस्टेंसेस ऑफ द सेम कॉन्फ़िगरेशन पैरेलली एट द सेम टाइम बट फॉर दिस आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ओनली वन इंस्टेंस आफ्टर द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज डन यू कैन रिव्यू योर सिलेक्शन एंड देन क्लिक ऑन लॉन्च द इंस्टेंस एंड द इंस्टेंस इज लॉन्चिंग सक्सेस and this is your instance id you can simply click on this to view your instance and once you select your instance you can see the configuration of your instance here is a configuration of your instance okay so here you can check this is the public ipv4 address that you can use here we have not configured it for any server and we have not listed anything with this and so it's not going to print anything but you can configure your instance with apache or nginx servers so that we will do in the next video and this is public ipv4 address this is public ipv4 dns address that we are going to use for the putty connection means when once we try to connect it via ssh client then we are going to use this ipv4 dns uh, address and this is virtual private cloud id so this is the virtual connection for the internet with your instance so we are not going to install switches and we are not going to set up other gateways so this is the logical connection that helps you your instance to connect uh, to the internet and this is the subnet id of your instance so by the time we were doing this let's check the status of our instance so here my web server i have created this web server now just now and these uh, the first two instances were created so the uh, i have created this instance we have created this instance my web server now and these two means the first two instances listed over over here were created earlier and they are not running they are in stop mode so if you are not using any instance so it is preferable to stop that instance so it is running now and this is the same configuration that we just checked now after this uh, after this instance you can also connect it so let's try to connect it via the instant terminal in later videos we will see how to launch the instance via putty and other uh, command line interface so just select the instance and you can click on connect so from the connect you need to launch not ssh client we are not going to launch with ssh uh, client command line interface we are going to launch ec2 instant connect so instance connect is the instant terminal provided to you for connection uh, without any third party interface so you just need to click on the connect and here it will open the command line interface for your instance you can see ec2 connection is done and you can check by ping command by pinging any website so here the connection is successfully established simply press control c otherwise it will take a lot of time to send and receive the packet so five packets transmitted and received successfully 0% packet loss so the connection is successfully done and we have launched the ec2 instance let's see some other details related with ec2 instance so here the instances are here so i have three instances out of them two are stopped and one is running so you can select the state of your instance or change the state of your instance by selection and then choosing the instance state so from instance state you can stop the instance you can reboot the instance and you can terminate the instance so every option is available so for this firstly check the ipv4 address here it is 172. 31.93.35 so this is ipv4 address of your ec2 instance okay so let's try to reboot this ec2 instance so we have clicked on reboot and it will ask for the confirmation yes we want to reboot so our ec2 server or our virtual server is rebooted but we have the same ipv4 address over here okay so now now let's try to you can uh, note down this ipv4 address 172.31.93.35 so now 
let's try to change the state again to stop state yes we want to st stop the instance and it is stopping and you can see the message successfully stopped so this instance is successfully stopped earlier it was successfully rebooted so you can simply cross these messages now after the instance is stopped you can start the instance at any time so let's start the instance again so here the instance is started again so let's try to open this instance via the browser so here we we interacted the with the instance with the command line inter interface this is the instance terminal we can say that we we uh, we have received a shell to interact with your ec2 terminal now let's try to copy the dns name or public ipv4 address and let's see what will happen so it is displaying that it cannot reach any page because we have not defined any page with our instance we can connect to our instance via command line interface but it has no html or uh, page to be displayed so in next video we will see how to launch ec2 instance with apache server and an html page to launch with that apache server or you can launch directly apache server with your instance so that we will cover in next video and in further videos we will also cover other ways to connect to your ec2 instance via command line interface like putty if you are using window so you need to install putty as a client ssh to uh, to remote login to your ec2 instance and to transfer the files with your ec2 instance so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye and take care